Baruch Sheni to Baruch 64, and the black ninth waters which you have seen. This is all the wickedness which was in the days of Manasseh, the son of Yahiz Kiyahu. For he wrought much impiety, and he slew the righteous, and he wrested judgment, and he shed the blood of the innocent, and wedded women he violently polluted, and he overturned the altars, and destroyed their offerings, and drove forth their priests, lest they should minister in the sanctuary. And he made an image with five faces. Four of them looked to the four winds, and the fifth on the summit of the image as an, as an adversary of the zeal of El Elohim. And then wrath went forth from the presence of El Elohim to the intent that Sion should be rooted out, as also it befell in your days, but also against the two tribes and a half went forth a decree that they should also be led away captive, as you have now seen. And to such a degree did the impiety of Menachshe increase, that it removed the praise of El Elyan from the sanctuary. On this account, Menachshe was at that time named the impious, and finally his abode was in the fire. For though his prayer was heard with El Elyan, finally, when he was cast into the brazen horse, and the brazen horse was melted, it served as a sign unto him for the hour. For he had not lived perfectly, for he was not worthy but that thenceforward he might know by whom finally he should be tormented. For he who is able to benefit is also able to torment. <laughs>